welcome to this demonstration of ANSYS AIM. In this video I'll show you how to use the parametric capabilities of AIM and space claim to perform a what-if study. In a what-if study you have one or more input variables such as geometric dimensions or load magnitudes and you want to know how varying these variables affects the performance of the part which is usually measured in stress, displacement, etc. The model I've selected for this simulation is a simple hook which is created by pulling on or extruding the base profile in a direction perpendicular to the plane of the profile. I'll introduce a parameter to represent the amount of the extrusion so that I can control the thickness of the hook. There are several benefits to using parameters. For example, input parameters like dimensions allow you to change the model very quickly by typing in a value and having the solid modeler automatically regenerate the geometry. Other input parameters like forces and displacements allow you to consider range of loading conditions using the same model. You can also declare output variables like displacement or stress to be parameters. Once I've declared the input and output parameters, AIM allows me to perform the what-if study. I'm going to use SpaceClaim to work on my solid model. Uh, SpaceClaim is the same solid modeler that AIM uses when you edit geometry in AIM. The model is in solid format, which is a neutral file format and has no parameters. A very powerful feature of space claim is the fact that it allows me to add parameters to models that don't have them. I'll demonstrate by using the pull tool. When I click on the top face of the hook as if I were going to pull it up or down and change the thickness, the mini toolbar is displayed. I'll click on the ruler icon there. That allows me to measure the amount of the pull relative to another entity in the model and I'll choose the bottom face. Now, when I enter any arbitrary value, the thickness will be changed, measured res with respect to the bottom face. I can also create a parameter out of this variable by clicking on the P icon. When I do click on the P icon, SpaceClaim creates what's called a group, which is essentially the same thing as parameter. Groups are visible in the Groups tab. And since this is a thickness value, I will rename it to thickness in order to be clear as to what this value, value represents. Declaring the thickness dimension to be a parameter also has the advantage of being able to pass this value to AIM and AIM can drive this dimension automatically. I can now save my model and begin work in AIM. In AIM I'll set the working units and start the structural template. My model is still open in space claim so I can use the connect to active CAD session option. Once my workflow has been created, I can visit each task and provide the input they need. As you can see, the solid model has been brought in along with the thickness parameter. In this study, I'll be looking at the effect of hook thickness on the magnitude of the maximum one Mises stress in the hook. I'll run four different thickness values starting with two millimeters and use an increment of two millimeters. In these types of studies where multiple runs are going to be made automatically, it's a good idea to complete at least one case manually to make sure that the simulation will work correctly. So I'll set the thickness to two millimeters and update the model. As you can see, the model was successfully updated and the thickness is now 2 millimeters. Before moving on to the mesh task, I will also parameterize this value inside AIM. 
This allows me to use a feature of AIM called the Design Points Dashboard, which makes working with parameters much easier. Next, I'll move to the Mesh task and set an element size control. Update the mesh. And it seems adequate for the task that I have. Moving on to the physics task, structural steel has already been assigned. I'll need to impose loads and boundary conditions. I'll fix this surface area. and impose a force load of 1000 newtons in the negative y direction on this surface. For my results, contour plots of stress and displacement have already been defined. I will just make sure that the maximum von Mises stress is also a parameter in my analysis. I can now evaluate the results and run the entire simulation. The results are done and I can review my one Mises stress results. Which is higher than the yield strength of the structural steel material. So naturally I would want to look at some other thickness values for this load case. To complete the rest of my study, I will use the Design Points dashboard by clicking on the icon located on the top right corner. This allows me to enter the values for my input parameters and then execute them all at the same time. As you can see, only the, value, the stress values for the first case are available, but I can very quickly update all of them by clicking on the Update All button. Once all the runs are complete, the Design Points dashboard displays the result in the table. Here you can see the maximum equivalent stress along with the corresponding thickness value for each case. You can export this table to a CSV file to, for example, include in a report or to bring into Excel for charting or other purposes. You can also select one or more of these runs and export them to an individual AIM project where you can work on them separately. Each one of the runs which is the combination of the input and output parameters is called a design point and they're numbered accordingly. You can view the results for the design points by using the design points drop down menu on the top right corner of the AIM window. For example, to look at the third design point DP2, we simply select it and the maximum equivalent stress results are displayed. To review, we created a simple parametric model in space claim, which we used to perform a what-if study, allowing us to look at the effect of thickness of this hook on the maximum equivalent stress found in the hook as a result of a certain load. I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.